Egads, I have a knot in my warp. <laughs> it gives us an opportunity to uh, look at a possible solution to this. It's a, the simplest solution out there and it's the one that I like to use. So I'm going to just weave over it and then while it's still on the loom and under tension, I'm going to needle weave in a replacement thread. And this is so much easier than the alternative way of saying, oh gosh, I have to cut this and break it. And then you have to treat it like a broken thread and have a thread hanging off the back of the loom. Well, there's no interruption here. There's just a knot. So I'm going to show you how I handle that. So I just need to continue weaving a little further. Where did I leave off? There. Right now that knot's not interfering at all in the weaving, which is great. Whoops, I'm on the wrong trail. And we're getting closer and closer to it. Oh, I'm going to advance my warp just a tad. He's right there. Look at him. He's almost in. Bye-bye. Mm, He's gone. So I'm going to weave past him just for about an inch or two. His little, his little hairdo sticking up there so we know where he is. a little bit further because I need to see the path of the repair thread. Okay, there we go. Here's his little smurf head and here's where he actually is. I need my needle. There he is right there. Okay, so, uh, so this is a four ply yarn. I have two options. I can repair it with a two-ply or I can repair it with a four-ply. There. So, I'm going to do two things at once and then we can decide which looks the best. I'm going to try it with a two-ply. I'm going to go in here, I put my finger underneath, and I go back, you know, here's the knot. I need to bring the repair thread out to here and start them in at least here. But while it's under tension, it's super easy to see our pathway. So I put the needle on, here's my needle, following the pathway of the weft. it's really a good idea to thread it and I probably could have left something a little longer. There it's in. So I'm going to continue on and follow my weft pad, my, my warp thread patterning. It's so easy to do this under tension. Okay. So there. It has been completely repaired. What I would do, and, and I think I personally would just leave this, but if you don't think this is a good idea, then you can do it with your four ply. Let's do, let's pretend we had a knot a couple rows over. Let's say there was a knot here too. I'm going to uh, needle weave this in following a pathway. It's so easy to 
needle weave in when your cloth is under tension. You're just following, make sure you follow the right one. If I find any skips in my fabric on loom, I fix it on loom before it ever comes off the loom because it's a heck of a lot easier to fix under tension than off tension. So there we go. That is a double. So we have two uh, four ply, the original one and the repair one sitting on top. And here's our other fella that had the original four ply, but I repaired him with a two ply. And the two ply is going to bridge the gap where the knot is. The knot, pretend the knot's between my two fingers. That two ply is going to, um, it's going to cover that bridge, make a bridge between the, the hole. And I know after this is washed, um, when I cut this knot, you won't even see it. Everything's going to shrink and lock and hold everything. He's got enough structural integrity because he's, he's needle woven into here and he's needle woven up to here. If you don't feel good about that, weave a little bit further and take it up another inch and bring this guy down another inch. If that makes you happy, all those things are up to you. But I know that this will be groovy and perfect. Uh, this is going to look like a repair and this I probably won't even notice because I've used a thinner thread to bridge the gap. I'm going to <coughs> take this fabric off the loom and wash it and cut this little smurf head off. <laughs> Poor smurf head. And then we'll cut these off after it's been washed and you won't even see this repair. But it was super duper easy. It's easier than cutting this and adding in uh, a whole new thread that hangs off the back. Whenever you have the opportunity to do a repair on the loom, warp-wise, weft-wise, take that opportunity. It'll make your life a lot easier. Hope that helps.